relation name of this highway is Euler equation highway and the name of this highway is the relation between P and rho that is acoustic I mean the speed of propagation of, of acoustic wave and that we call state equation state equation because it it expresses is the thermodynamic state. Or generally, we can say this kind of equation is a constitutive equation or constitutive relation. For example, when you, for example, the Young's uh, Hooke's law says the rate of change of displacement is related with Young's modulus. This is equivalent with the pressure. This is equivalent with or acoustic case density change, and that is related by Young's law. How they found the Young's modulus? They found in linear range by doing experiment. Right? That is constitutive relation. And in, 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 in this, in this, in this, and this, the same, and the analogous with, with this, we could say this is constitutive relation of the, uh, the acoustic variables, pressure between pressure and, and the density, and the oil equation. And the relation between Rho and U, name of this highway is conservation of mass. So three laws actually relate, completely relate between pressure, density, and velocity. Linearize the oil equation. Conservation of mass essentially says the rate of change of Density has to be balanced by mass flux in and out. That means if, the, if we have some void over here, our governing equation cannot describe. Because we are assuming that the old medium is continuous, continuum mechanics. Okay. And also, another relation that we said, constitutive relation. These three equations can be summarized by this wave equation. And this wave equation is the same as the wave equation of the string. Okay. The next question is, what is the uh, energy? And what would be the power, acoustic power? Acoustic power is rate of work done per, uh, with respect to time, that is acoustic power. In other words, when I push a certain surface with the pressure P, and if the fluid is displayed, moved with the velocity U, that is acoustic power. P multiplied by U is acoustic power per unit area, right? That is acoustic power. In which direction? Normal to the surface, right? So, acoustic power is a PU, 
And that has the direction in x direction, in x direction. So if we have three dimensional case, then this has to be P multiplied by velocity PV. That we call acoustic intensity. Acoustic intensity. So acoustic intensity is no longer scalar quantity, but it is vector quantity. That is multiplication of P with U. And remember, what is a P over U? What is it? P over U. Famous impedance, right? Impedance is a P over U, expressing how much velocity I can get for unit pressure, or often expresses the boundary condition, how much it is moving with a certain pressure. If that is infinity, then the boundary condition is fixed boundary condition. Right? And so on, so on. And that we emphasize very much impedance. And this is intensity. That is another very important physical parameter in acoustics. Okay.